Today we are going to be trying to fish in Charleston, South Carolina for the first time ever. This is the next leg of our kind of southbound trip here and the reason I say attempting to fish is because it is howling. For the next few days a tropical storm is supposed to be sweeping through here so the wind is kind of rough right now and I don't really know where the heck to fish around here. We're gonna figure it out but today we are over here at this uh, bank fishing spot. It looks like pretty good-ish. We're gonna be trying to figure something out together here but I'm gonna get ready get rigged up and let's get out there to see what the frick we can do man appreciate y'all coming on this adventure day okay so i've never been to charleston before and i don't ever think i've fished in south carolina before so this is going to be all new experience and i think what we're going to go with first i have some artificial but i saw this little creek i would love to throw this around and see we can get any uh, juicy frolic and bait. By the way, y'all, these hoodies are officially available on firststatefishing.com down in the description below. It really helps out the channel and it's really cool to see y'all rocking submerged. It's, it's cool, man. This is like a thicker hoodie. It's very, very nice for this time of year. Appreciate all the support and yeah, it's freaking sick, dude. If you guys have never been around this area of the United States, one thing that really sticks out to me that's just super cool is like the trees and the foliage. Over here, like, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like the Spanish moss that hangs down from the trees. Palm trees, which are just happy trees. It's just nice. So this is the area we're going to be exploring today. Big body of water and then tide is going out. I saw some mullet in here earlier. I just want to I just want to see something. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about, man. This Spanish moss looks so sick. So can I get down here? See a bunch of little fiddler crabs going in their holes, too. This place is just abundant with bait. All right. Let's take a little peek at what we can see here. Hold on. Dude. <laughs> Look what we got. This is my first time ever cast netting. It's a freaking shrimp. I caught this big log. Hopefully it doesn't freak our net up. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I need my bucket. Dude, we got some freaking shrimp, dude. This is gonna be perfect bait. Let me know if you guys wanna see me um, do some kind of shrimp boil, catch and cook. Never done a shrimp catch and cook. Oh, dude, this is so cool. All right, so here's two into the bucket. How many did I get? Oh, 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 oh hey, little dude. <laughs> this is so cool. I've caught grass shrimp before. Oh, yeah, that is the bait we need. Yeah, I've caught grass shrimp, but never in my life actual shrimp. And these are decent size, too. Like, these could be eaters, low key, high key. Is that everybody out of there? Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. I've always wanted to catch shrimp. You're shrimping? Yes. What's up? You're shrimping? You trying to get some bait? <laughs> the pancakes though. Anybody in that one? Hey, hello? Oh, there's one. There's two. Bada bing. Bada boom. Dude, this is candy. Anytime you're fishing a new spot, you're always just trying to figure stuff out, you know? Like what even is swimming around that area. And if you can get a pr premier bait like this, whew, let me tell you. Try to get one really good cast up under there. It's kind of a similar cast, but that's where we've been catching them. Oh yeah, baby. Three more. This is some good stuff. All right, we can do one more. It's funny because right when I got out of my car and I was looking around earlier, I was like, huh, I came over and I just kind of looked around off the bridge here and I saw some mullet, like a big school. So I was like, huh, maybe we can cast that some mullet, which it's, you know, it's a good bait. I just think, dude, this is gold. I'm happy y'all are here to witness this. I'm so excited, dude. All 
Alrighty. This time I really want to get back in there. So we get a far cast. That was good. That was a good cast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a baby baby. Send him back. There's one, two, three more. Averaging like three per cast at least. All right. I want to keep these alive and fresh as possible too. Shrimp usually die off pretty quickly. Oh, here's one more. That was four. Oh, dude, this is a nice one too. Heck yeah. How's it going? Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I jumped. Did you catch I caught some shrimp. <laughs> that was funny. This big school group just passed. I feel like they were low key roasting me, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna leave our bucket there real quick. Let's get rigged up. Let's start doing some exploring. Okay, so here's my question I don't think I'm really allowed to fish off these piers. I kind of want to get under them cast around the pilings. I didn't say no fishing here, so we're gonna fish here, cast around this uh, little pier, I guess. See what the heck we can find. How's it going? Okay, so I don't know if y'all can tell, but the freaking wind is absolutely howling it is ripping all of this water that way i was trying to find some spots to cast the shrimp where you know the wind wasn't whipping as bad and it kind of looks like there's little eddies and stuff around these pilings i have not got a single bite all right so this is what i'm kind of trying out here i don't know if this is going to work but basically we have shrimp dude this dude's not doing too hot and then it's like on a drop shot basically <laughs> i don't know like did people do this Normally I just like Carolina rig or just kind of let it free ball around there. I don't know. We'll fish around this uh, pier over here for a little bit, then we'll do some walking. Also just gonna toss shrimp right around these pilings, see if there's any sheepies around. It'd be cool to catch a sheep's head. Realistically, I believe on the menu today, there's a bunch of different stuff, including the aforementioned sheep's head, um, speckled trout, and redfish, flounder, really whatever wants to play. I mean, realistically, this is salt water, so there's really no telling what could be down here. Let's try this piling. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What is this? Holy crap, dude. Dude, 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 dude. We got some monster on. Oh, I can't even see what it is. What is that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. Dude, that's a beast red drone. That is a solid freaking drone. Dude, how do I get that thing up? Holy crap, how do I get it up? Holy crap. How do I get this up? Please be able to reach this leader. Oh, oh yeah, yes, 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 
Yes. Freaking heck, dude. Oh my god. Holy crap, that is a freaking drum. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at this right here, man. Whoo. Whoo. Oh my gosh. Literally just dropped the shrimp down. Dude freaking crushed it. Okay. We're gonna get him back. Whoo. My gosh. Oh, being from Delaware, being able to catch a freaking fish like this. Ah, I can't really release him too well. Or her. Oh man, I really wish I could. Oh, there we go. Boom. Torpedo her. That fish was full of energy still. Not up very long. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm freaking out. <sighs> okay. Where am I? What am I doing? Okay. Compared to the red drum that we have been catching, which is not a lot, and we've had to really struggle and work for them, uh, that is a really good size one. I didn't get a measurement. Probably would have been a keeper. I don't even know if you can keep them at this time of the year here in South Carolina. Again, this is my first time ever fishing here. And to pull something like that, especially like I'm not going to be able to fish the next couple days. So, oh man, what in the heck? And that freaking shrimp wasn't even still kicking either. Dude, I don't know if you can tell. I'm, I'm physically shaking. I'm shook. So I guess this rig's gonna work. I don't know. I mean, if we get one that's any bigger than that, I don't, I, I just don't know, man. It's again, cast that right next to the piling. Oh, someone's jumping right there. That could be mullet. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was just like, my freaking, everything was just down under the pier. I don't even know if you guys could see the first like 20, 30 seconds of the fight. Cause I, I just, it was just pulling me straight yoinking. I, I could have sworn that would have been a sheep's head or something. That's just a big sheepy. That's like the last thing. I don't know why that I, I was expecting right now. I did talk to a local when I was walking here from where I parked. And they said that like, they just, they, I was like, you catch redfish around here? They were like, no, uh, speckled trout and stuff. Meanwhile, <laughs> Oh, that's just, that's salt water bed. You'd never freaking know what you could do. What's down there? Oh my gosh. I don't even care, man. To me, that is a giant. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Unfortunately, they don't want people fishing off this dock. Oh, okay. They don't want people fishing off that dock down there. Okay, so I should go over there? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay, cool. Well, we just got the boot from this dock. Literally doesn't say anything about anything, but it's all right. There's another one over there. I don't even know if that guy works here. It's, it's cool. I'm just happy we caught that before we got kicked off. Just so you guys can see, this is the dock. We were fishing the pier, and we're going to go to that one right over there. New dock, new opportunities. I'm liking how it goes horizontally this way. We can almost work these sideways. Let's just get the shrimp in the water real quick. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, we're just dropping it. If y'all can see piling right there one to the right we just drop this next to the right one i wouldn't be surprised if any sheepies bit us oh i, I just cannot ask for much better welcome <laughs> to charleston again if you guys have anywhere around this area in south carolina i should check out let me know i want to do some kayak fishing there's just a lot of stuff i want to do we're gonna be here for like about a week, I think. Unfortunately, as I said, the next two days are gonna be stormed out, but hopefully that means today's gonna to be good fishing. <laughs> I 
Maybe these reds are feeding up. This is all I'm really gonna do, just piling by piling. Drop this sucker down. I caught a nice red off the the pier over there, but then I got kicked off of that one. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So far, one thing I've noticed about this area is everybody is just like everybody's so nice. Even the guy that kicked me off, he did it so nicely. That's southern hospitality. I'm excited to get some like southern food around here too. Try this one right here. Oh, I just got bit, I think. Oh, I'm getting bit. Here we go. There's a fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, dude. Dude. Frick, man. Oh my gosh. This is the strat. I think it's another red. Oh. Jeez. All right, can we get you up? Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, no freaking way. No way. The strat is working. Second one of the day. Another beautiful redfish. <sighs> Golly. I cannot ask for anything more. First day fishing South Carolina. It's funny because I'm kind of using my Delaware strats here. Let's get this guy back. Beautiful. Thank you, buddy. Boom. Back in Delaware on the piers, we would fish just like this. Some kind of bait and then you fish right on the pilings. Literally using this exact same rig. So it's cool how like things can kind of translate even though I'm thousands of miles away. Come on, imagine we land a freaking monster monster. I'm not even gonna lie, that first one, was, it was really nice. Technically, was it monster? No, but to me, it was a monster. But I'm sure there's gotta be some actual, like, like, what do y'all think? 30 inches, possibly? I mean, it's gotta be at least one freaking mega round. Okay, man, if you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Really would be appreciated. And I mean, if you've watched the recent videos, y'all know how much we've grinded and semi-struggled to catch some uh, redfish. I mean, I'm from Delaware. Again, we really don't have redfish up there. We kind of do, but really don't. So like to be able to do something like this is just so cool. This is gonna be the piling, watch this. What's crazy is I, I, I felt the bite on that second one. But the first one, dude, that just yoinked me way under. I did not even think I was gonna get that guy up. That's why you gotta use like heavier leader though, especially um, for sharper scales and some things have teeth. Once I got to that leader, I knew I'd be fine. I have like, I think it's 30 pound leader on here. Come on, you're telling me there's not any sheep set down here? Look at this. Let me show you guys a better look. This just, it's like barnacle-y. This looks like sheep city. Or redfish. It's just giving a crazy illusion like that the tide is really ripping, but it's just the wind. Like I, I'm literally throwing a quarter ounce drop shot weight. Like this is for bass fishing. That's kind of how my tackle situation is at the moment. Either way, it's really not moving. Literally a quarter ounce of weight. It's just windy on the top. It's ripping. Give this side a shot. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that storm's moving in. It's blowing like 30 plus right now. I got my back turned to the wind, so y'all probably can't hear it too much. It is starting to rip, dude. Oh, we got some fish in it. Oh, we can. That's, that's the good thing. We're not done yet today. I'm gonna 
cast around. Oh, that's a nice little spot right there. Cast around these pilings a little bit more. And then there's this really good looking spot I want to go try that I see within walking distance. Ooh, oh my gosh, wind is bonkers. It's not often that I almost lose the hat that's always on my head, <laughs> but we almost lost that. Sun's coming out here a little bit. This just, just wind is bonkers, dude. Beautiful little beach. Hoping this is gonna be a little bit less windy. It's like rocky slash mushy sandy. Just very interesting. I don't know where I can walk. I don't wanna get in some quicksand muddy stuff. Can we park it here? Oh, hello. A little bit slippery. Oh no. There's some rockiness. What the heck kind of first cast is that? Wait, what? No. Not what we're looking for. <laughs> okay. What is that? Some kind of stingray. Just felt a weight and this dude was on the end of it. It's not in his mouth too bad there. I wonder if I can almost just... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect release, he just needs to be flipped over. Hello? All right, well, that's what you really gotta be careful of. Like, if I was to go wading around here, it was literally kinda in the shallows right outside of this creek. Like, I could've just, it's very easy to step on those dudes. And at that point, it's just not gonna be a good day for anybody. I wanna know just where I'm